This is Commander Shepard. Welcome to RoboFet's Bounty. This time we'll be talking about the Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This film, 1988, I remember seeing this, not in the cinema, I remember my dad renting this out from the video shop. It's a really fun, cheesy, kind of PG-13 like comedy horror film about these clowns that land on, on Earth and they kind of invade this little town and they've got these popcorn guns and they turn people into cotton candy and suck, suck the blood out of them. It sounds so random, but there's a really great bunch of characters in this film. There's also a bit of a reinsurgence. You know, it's coming back. There is a video game coming out in the next arm. Um, I think it's early, early Feb. That's really good. If you've played the Texas Chainsaw Massive game or the Friday the 13th or the Evil Dead one, it's kind of like there's like four clans or five clans against the humans. You've got to escape and do certain things to get away from them. <laughs> It's gotta be a way out of here. You see, it looks pretty cool. So we will look over these Blu-rays, the still books, in a second. But we're gonna talk about some pop vinyls. I'm not a real big collector of pop vinyls. I don't like the whole generic pop, you know, with the round face, the big black eyes. They all look the same. Everything's a pop nowadays. But these Killer Clowns ones, I feel uh, special because they don't look like generic pops. Although they've got the black eyes, they've got more character to them. So what I'll do, I'll show these up one one at a time, and then we we'll have a closer look at each one. So let's go with the first pop. So the first one of the pops we have is the rarest one. This is a character called Slim. It's a full 2019 Comic Con limit edition. I think it's the flocked one. And that's the, not characters that are going to be coming out, but obviously some of the ones from the film. Obviously we will open these up at the end. This is Pop 822. So there is the character Slim. Oh, 
So here you have Shorty, the smallest of the killer clowns. He's the boxing one. As you can tell, these are the other characters that are going to be potentially available in this line. You have Shorty, Spikey and Jumbo. As I said before, they don't look like normal pops. There's a lot more detail to these dudes. So there is the second pop, Shorty. Take a ride, pal. Can I beep the horn? <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> Should have let the man ride his bike. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I seem to have broken your bike. Where'd it go? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Knock my block off? So here you have the tubby fella Jumbo. Now we all thought we was going to get one pop and now we're on three at the moment. Are they going to release them all? You've got the same characters on the back. He's got his mallet hiding behind his back, kind of enticing potentially little children to their deaths. And the final one that got released, we have Spikey. He's got his balloon, balloon dog there in his green starry jumpsuit. Another really cool character, evil, mean looking dude. You want to meet him on a dark alley. So there is Spikey.
So when a pop gets released, mainly like horror ones or video games, you get one character. You now we got Slim and I was happy to just get Slim. But then we had the four and it's like, well, that's it. Four, you know, we don't get loads more. That That is going to be it. They're surely not going to release any more pops. And on my travels recently, I found out they made these ones also. The first one I found was in the World's Apart store up here in Liverpool. It's a franchise of Forbidden Planet. So we have Rudy here. He's a kind of poster child. Now it's the character that's on the box art. He's not in the film much. But this is kind of like a, a new thing for Funko where you get the, the pop itself and you get the poster. But these are screwed in so these aren't removable. But, you know, for 20 quid, it's a character I don't have. So that's Rudy. And that's the original box art we got for the film. But we'll get him open at the end if we can. So Rudy was the first one that I didn't even know they released. Also, in the last few weeks, we got the baby clown. These obviously come from the popcorn kernels that I guess grow into these kind of wormy looking clowns to then mutate into the clowns we see halfway through the film. That's the baby clown in the popcorn bucket. And it's got some other ones, which you're not going to see it, that got released. Scale wise is obviously much bigger than it should be. This is a problem in this line. You see some of the later clans are much smaller compared to how big they are in the film. So there you have the baby clown. This is what I mean by size. This one come out at the same time as the baby clam, but it's very small compared to, say like Jumbo, and I think they're the same kind of size in the film. So this is Fatso. Comes with a gun with kind of a puppet on and a box of chocolates. So he's pop number 1423. Again, when they're all lined up, they're gonna look really, really cool together. So there we have Fatso. For me? Oh. oh, shit. Is this from you? Oh. The next one is a Funko Web exclusive. We got Bibbo. Oh, to be honest, I don't even remember this guy in the film. Maybe it's just a clan they made. Just, I don't know, background character. He's got a, a pie there, so I think he's one of the clowns that Pires the cop halfway through the film. Again, same packaging. I'll put this in a hard protector. These are quite cool to display your better pops. I said the only pops I collect are these ones. But there we have Bibbo. Pizza! So here we have all the clowns in their awesome glory, apart from Rudy. As I said, this one in the glass cabinet on the back of it, we've got a little kind of screw that's screwed into his back of his head because he's very top heavy and he's mounted on this stand. So he could potentially get a second one to undo it. But unfortunately, it'll just stay in this packaging, potentially just in the background because we can't really do much with him, which is an issue. But as you can see, the scale. You've got the tiny one here, 
It's a really, really cool detail on these. And they don't look like Funkos. They look like cool little action figures. But you compare them to Jumbo, in the film they're the same kind of size. It doesn't make any sense. So Jumbo here, with Bilbo, I think his name was. He said they're pretty much the same sculpt in the face. But that's the newer one that's just, it's literally just been released. And this one has got the mallet behind his back. Now these are really, really cool figures. Here we've got Shorty again. A lot, some of these you can pick up from, say, twelve ninety nine. Obviously, the dearest one. This dude here is a pretty penny. And the good thing about pops, you can pretty much remove them from the packaging, and pop still have a mint on card because they just slip into the top. See, so see through balloon dog there. Yeah, it's got a little bit more character than your generic pop vinyls. I think they're a really, really cool part of my collection. And I recommend anyone that's into the films pick all these up because they're, they're good fun. So we've seen the pops. Here we have one of the imported copies of the film I've got. So let's get it open. We have the, some art cards there. Let's get them to one side. So there is the front of the box. This is a multi-region disc. There we go there. Comes with a few art cards. Let's go through these quickly. I think these are some covers from different countries that's what I remember I think from the UK one originally got two of them there we go shame we didn't get none of these in the UK release is that one of the clans I've got? I think that is Jumbo the only way to kill these clans is to blow their noses up there was a plan for a sequel, or they've trademarked the title, I think, um, Kidder Clowns 2 in 3D. So we may get that one day. That's a very famous scene there, which I showed you earlier on. There's Rudy there. It's just plain old postcards. So that's the first version I have of Killer Clowns. Many still books available, but this is the one that really got my attention. Really, really like the artwork on that. And inside the original disc doesn't come in a booklet, but I have got this booklet that was in the Arrow release, it's the UK release. So it's got some information about the film, a bit of art, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Killer Clowns video. And yeah, I don't know where we're going to go next. Maybe we do uh, another critters video because I've got some more additions to that. But yep, Killer Clans, if you haven't seen it, go and see it. Fantastic film. I'll put a trailer now, and we'll see you very, very soon. It was a night like any other night. Then something happened. Did you see that? Something different. It's no shooting star. Why here? Why now? Why clowns? <laughs> They've been knocking them dead all over the universe. What are you gonna do? Knock my block off. Soon they'll be doing it at a theater near you.
killer clowns from outer space. Just cruising through the galaxy and stopped here for a bite to eat. You don't need a police bell, you need a psychiatrist. Uh oh. They want to play games? They're messing with the wrong guy. What are you in for? Killer clowns from outer space. It's crazy.